Hello everyone and happy Vlogmas day 5. So yeah, my name is Kate if you guys are new here and I film lifestyle, beauty and fashion videos here on YouTube. So yeah, today's video is something I've actually never done before. I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. So yeah, but it's going to be a little different because it's currently I think like 6pm. So I'm actually going to be doing it kind of in reverse because I'm going to show you guys what I'm having for dinner tonight because it's literally so delicious and one of my favorite meals. And then tomorrow I will show you what I have for breakfast and lunch. So I know that's kind of confusing and I'm sorry about that, but today was just such a busy day and I had school like really early this morning and I had like a ton of like assignments and stuff to finish. So I wanted to like focus on school first and I figured, yeah, that I would still, I still wanted to film this today since I love the meal that I'm cooking tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna do it in reverse. So I hope that's okay for you guys, but you'll still be seeing exactly what I eat in a day. I'll be showing you everything. It'll just be in a different order. So yeah. Today, well actually I think all of this video, um, you guys will not be seeing Justin. He's currently away on a business trip just for one night. But yes, yeah, so I'm kind of cooking on my own, which is, he's probably like stressed for me because I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not a bad cook. I just, he's usually like the head, head chef and I call myself like his sous chef because I just do like the little things, like I'll cut the veggies or like help him with certain dishes, but usually he's like the main chef who does it all. But for tonight, I'm doing like a super quick and like really easy meal that is like one of my favorite ones. So we're gonna be having salmon tonight. So we're gonna be having some salmon here. So I picked that up and I'm gonna be doing that in the oven and I'm gonna be like broiling it. So I'll show you how I do it. And then we're gonna be having some green beans as well. And then we're gonna be having these sweet potato fries and these are literally like the most amazing thing ever. Like I feel like whenever I buy sweet potato fries, they're never crispy when I cook them. But I think because these are like waffle fries because of like all the space in between it, like the little air like pockets, I feel like it can, it's just like a lot crispier. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I think. So yeah, I've done this meal like literally at least like three or four times within I don't know, the last few months, maybe more or something like that. So yeah, I've done it like a few times myself. And usually I do it with like salmon, bok choy, and sweet potato. And I'll insert like a photo because I always put it on my Insta story. But today we're switching it up because I really love these sweet potato fries. And then I figured we would go with green beans as something like a little different. So yeah. But anyway, we're gonna be cooking um, the sweet potato first because that takes the longest so put this on Okay, I just popped the oven on yeah 425 and then it says a half bag takes 15 to 18 minutes But when I do the fish it literally only takes me I think it's like 10 minutes when I put it on broil because it goes to like 500 Fahrenheit on boil So it literally just cooks in like 10 minutes, which is crazy And then I like salt it and like put on my spices and everything like that But yeah, I'm gonna wait for the oven to heat up and then I'll put the fries in and then we'll do the salmon and green beans like a little later, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be preparing my salmon now. So this is just really easy. All I'm doing is put, putting a few spices on it. So first I'm just gonna start by just salting it just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put some cayenne pepper on it. Cause I like my things like really spicy if you guys know me. Okay. Then I'm gonna be adding some Cajun too, just to add like a little bit more flavor to it. And then finally, just to top it off, I'm gonna be adding some crushed red pepper flakes. Okay, so that is what it looks like as of right now. 
Okay, so now we have the salmon cooking. So I put it on broil for just 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking the green beans. So I'm just gonna be doing these in the pan. So I'm gonna place you guys somewhere. what my food looks like. I showed you a little close-up before. It looks so good. So I thought I would do just a little taste test for you. So I've already tried the waffle fries. Not gonna lie, I was snacking on those a little bit while the salmon was cooking and it was so good. But yeah, I'm so excited to try the salmon because I love salmon. It's not something that Joss and I eat like every single week. We probably eat it like maybe once every two weeks because it is more expensive. And we've been really trying to like be better and be more creative about our recipe ideas. So yeah, this one's super good. So let's try this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Literally amazing. It's like really crispy on the top. It's got this like crispy, like spicy layer on the top and it's so soft and like so perfectly done. It's like literally the best way to cook salmon because it just like comes out so quickly and just comes out amazing every time I like broil it. I literally have to have a second. But yeah, I'm about to go and like devour this whole plate. It was so good. And I will catch up with you guys in the morning when I'm making breakfast. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day and yeah, I just woke out of woke up <laughs> yeah I just woke up so excuse my hair and everything I literally just woke up and pretty much I wake up I always drink some water when I first wake up I already had some but I'm gonna have a little bit more I just like to have a little bit of water before I have my coffee just because I know I just can't go straight into having coffee I feel like I'll get a headache or something so yeah usually I keep my little water bottle by my side um, when I go to bed and then if I need to drink anything, I can. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coffee. So let's get to doing that. Usually in, in terms of like breakfast, I either have something with like eggs or I'll do like something with like yogurt and blueberries, something like that. Today I'm doing my yogurt and blueberries for you guys because I feel like I've had a lot of eggs this week. So, and we ran out of yogurt, so now we have more yogurt. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. So let me just grab everything that I need. Okay, so for today's breakfast, we're going to be doing Greek yogurt. I just get the Stop and Shop Greek non-fat yogurt, just the plain one, no like vanilla or flavoring or anything. Then we just get some frozen blueberries. Justin loves the this one because <laughs> it's from Maine. And then I have some honey and then we have some sort of like cereal. You can put like granola with this too, but I really like this. It's the Special K Honey Almond Ancient Grains like protein one, if you guys can see here. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting like two like big spoons of yogurt and I almost miss, messed that. So maybe a third just. Then I'm going to be putting in like a lot of blueberries because I like it to be like, I know it makes it like really, really good the more blueberries you put in and it's like super cold, which I know it's winter, so that's kind of weird, but yeah, it's like really good and I like the taste of like the blueberries, so I put in like quite a bit. And then I'm gonna pop in my honey. I just like this because the Greek yogurt is kind of just plain, so I like to add some like sweetness to it. So I just add like a little bit. So as of now, this is what it looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix it so you can, guys can see like how pretty it actually looks when it's all mixed. Okay, so this is what the finished product look, looks like. It might not look like that appetizing to you, but to me, this tastes so good. So definitely try it and yeah. So you can see like we've got the blueberries in there and then it makes it look kind of purple. We've got the honey in for some sweetness and then this like cereal thing, which is like really, really yummy. Yeah, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be having for breakfast. This and then my little coffee. 
and yeah that should do me until I need to come back from classes so yeah hey guys so I just finished a workout and I'm about to head off to school today so I wanted to pack myself a little snack. I didn't have any Lara bars and that's usually what I bring on like a Tuesday or a Thursday when I need like a snack in between classes because I won't come home until probably like 2 or 2.30 today. So that's like a while to like have a break and it's currently like 10 right now. So I packed a few of these almonds. So the almonds that I'm obsessed with, I talked about them in a favorites video, is the blue diamond almonds and they're the like habanero barbecue ones I don't know if you can tell let me get into the light so yeah there are these and they're literally so good but I don't want to have too many because I know they're not the healthiest because they're not like plain but they're really great if you're looking for like a healthy little snack so I've just packed myself a small little thing of those to eat in between classes and now I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle and then I can go to school <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got back from school and it's yeah, like almost three o'clock. It's like 2.40, so yeah, I'm like really tired from school. But I got a pumpkin cream cold brew at Starbucks, so that was like a little treat for me. I usually never do that because I usually just don't have time in between classes, but my first class finished like I want to say 45 minutes early or half an hour early or something so I went to Starbucks with one of my friends I didn't I forgot to like record it because I was just like with a friend but I'll insert a photo and yeah so I had that that was like my little treat I just got a small one and I was really surprised I was actually going there to get like the sweet cream cold brew and then the lady was like oh we also have like pumpkin and this and I was like wait I thought they weren't doing pumpkin anymore but I guess the school one still is so I was like yes please like that's my favorite so I got that and I feel like horrible from the caffeine because as you guys saw I had coffee this morning and now I'm having a second and I usually don't do that so I'm like super dehydrated and like gross so <laughs> So learn from me. Yeah, anyway, I just need to like keep the fluids up because I'm just not feeling super great after two coffees. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, anyway, we are home and I'm about to make some avocado toast. I'm obsessed with avocado toast. My whole family is <laughs> like we always have avocado toast, especially on weekends. Like my parents love having avocado toast on the weekends and yeah, so I'm just grabbing my bread. I keep my bread in the freezer. I don't know if that's like weird, but that's what I learned from my mom is like it keeps it like fresh because I won't go through a whole loaf of bread in like a week. So that way like freezing it keeps it longer. So all we have is like the 12 grain bread. So I'm gonna have some of that. And then I have my avocado. So I'm praying it's a good one because I feel like I never know with avocados. And I think I may have left it like a day or two too late so i feel like i should have eaten it sooner but i guess we're gonna see so i'll show you guys how i make my avocado toast so yeah i'm not feeling like super hungry today so i might just do like one piece of toast because i had that coffee and i feel like starbucks coffees fill me up and i'm not feeling like super great from having my second coffee so i'm just gonna pop one piece of toast in okay and i will let that toast yeah, I'm just like not feeling great, which is not good. <laughs> but, oh, I took a spoon out. I didn't take a fork. I'm losing my mind today. I needed a knife and a fork and I grabbed a spoon. So that's just how my day is going. But yeah, we're almost done with school. I'm so happy. Like we're almost done, like a little bit longer. We finish on the 13th. I think is when like exams and everything are done. So yeah, I'm super excited to finish. And I feel like it's been a very long, but also like a short semester. Like I can't believe it's already December. Um, yeah, the avocado is okay. It definitely would have been better if I had it like yesterday, I think. But we're not gonna let it go to waste. This is probably way too much avocado for just like one piece of toast, but oh well. I think Justin will be home soon anyway, so I might leave a little bit for him if he wants to have some. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just mash it up. 
everyone knows how to make avocado toast. I know I'm like showing you guys how to make it, but it's literally just smashed avo. But yeah, so anyway, I always like to add like spice to mine. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, uh, some pepper, um, some red pepper flakes. Pretty much almost like I like how I seasoned my um, my salmon last night. I guess that's kind of like the same thing I do with my avocado. And then I just put a tiny bit of Cajun in too because I'm obsessed with Cajun. And I actually, I think I put it on almost like everything that I eat, so yeah. That is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna wait for my toast to pop and then I will show you how I like to do the rest of it. Oh, also really quick, like while my toast is still going, I wanted to show you guys my vitamins that I take in the morning because I took them today when I was running out of the door and I like didn't forget, I like forgot to record it. But every single day I have these one a day multi um, vitamins. It's like the women's multi vitamin gummies. I know that's like, that's such a child thing to take, but I just love them. They're super yummy to take. And you actually have to take two of these, which is kind of misleading since it's called one a day. But anyway, I always have those. And then I always have vitamin B12 because I'm just like permanently tired. Like I'm always tired and I feel like I never have enough energy and I do sleep well. Like I actually do. I go to bed at always a reasonable time and I always wake up around the same time. So I don't know what it is, but I do take that. So hopefully that will eventually help me. So my toast just popped. Okay, let me put you back down. Okay, so then what I usually do to finish off my avocado toast, this is like a recent thing. I saw that um, Maggie McDonald actually does this with her avocado toast, so I had to try it and you put like sriracha on it and it's so so good but we actually have frank's red hot and i think that's going to be even better so i'm going to pop a little bit on mine and i think that'll be really good and by a little i mean a lot because i love spicy things and i've heard that like hot sauce and i think just like chilies in general are good for your metabolism so i hope that's true because i have so much I, almost every meal I have is like pretty spicy. I just like have to have spice in a meal. So anyway, let me show you the finished product. So as you guys can see, this is the finished product. It looks pretty good to me. And I don't know if I'm gonna have a second piece of toast. I think I'm gonna eat the first one and see if I'm still hungry, just because I didn't feel too great after that like second cup of coffee. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and chill while I watch some TV before I have to go and do some more schoolwork. So just the life of a college girl, which I'm sure a lot of you are in college too, so you totally feel me. We're almost at finals, so it's time to like wrap up the semester and start studying, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit and I will let you know if I have a second piece of toast. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just finishing up editing this vlog that I have just filmed for you guys so yeah it's gonna go live tonight so you guys will see it but yeah I decided just to like have an update so you guys know what I've eaten and I'm trying to be like super accurate I didn't have that second piece of toast usually I'd say on like an average day I would have but I'm still really feeling sick like I'm feeling not great from that second coffee I guess I just like shouldn't have two cups of coffee. Like one cup with me is like a need. Two cups of coffee I never have and now I'm feeling so sick so I really regret it but I'm trying to keep my fluids up so yeah. So yeah I'm trying to keep my fluids up and yeah but hopefully I will feel better in the morning and maybe after like a shower and more water and everything. So yeah, other than that, I just wanted to end off the vlog and say bye to you guys and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better then. And other than that, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, you guys know the drill. Definitely hit the subscribe button below and of course give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>